So I've been seeing this type of title animation way more pretty much every single day where you take a title and you can animate it to expand up and down at the same time to create multiple duplicates of it. But of course that has a little bit of style to it because it's cut up as each variation of the title expands. So this video is going to show how to do this type of title animation and you can download our project file for free if you want to follow along. But without wasting more time, let's jump in and let's get started. All right, so we already have a title in here and once you have your title typed out, what you're going to do is grab that title layer and go up to layer pre-compose and we'll call it title placeholder and click OK. All right, so this will be the middle part of our title. And what we're going to do is take this title layer and we'll go up to edit duplicate. And simply what we're going to do is hit P on keyboard for position. We're going to add a keyframe for position and we'll move forward in time. It could be by a half a second and we'll grab the Y position and we'll just move our title up to say like right here. So let's just be above the original title. And then what we're gonna do is grab both these keyframes and we're gonna hit F9 on our keyboard to make them easy, easy keyframes. We'll come here to the graph editor and we'll come down here, grab one of these points and we'll just simply drag these vertices into the middle. So it'll give it a really smooth animation. So if I uh, preview this real quick, it'll just animate up like that. And then what we're gonna do is take that original placeholder again, the one that we didn't animate, we'll duplicate it and we'll hit P again on our keyboard and we'll add a keyframe there, first frame and we'll move forward to half a second and we'll move this one downward just like so. And we'll do the same exact thing, make it easy, easy keyframes, come here to the graph editor and do the same exact thing with the vertices. So now we'll have this very simple animation like so, okay. So then what we're gonna do is take the top placeholder that we have here, go to layer pre-compose, and we can call this top title animation. Move all attributes into new composition, click okay. And we'll grab our second bottom one here and we'll pre-compose that as well. And we'll call it bottom title animation. All right, awesome. And we'll bring both these layers underneath our original title placeholder, which is not animated whatsoever. So that stayed the same. So now what we'll do is grab the top title animation, grab the rectangle tool here, and we're just gonna draw a mask like this. And we use the arrow keys to just delete the title uh, until it's moved up like so. So just like that. This will just animate up and boom, there's the title. Now, if you wanna be able to animate the title up a little bit more, go back to that composition, go to that last keyframe, and you can just use the Y animation just to move it up so then boom it'll be up a little bit higher and then you can do the same exact thing for the bottom one so we'll just draw a mask just like so and we can move it down by a little bit go back in that composition make sure we go to the last keyframe and we can just bring it down just by a little bit so now we'll have our animation like so and if you're happy with the cuts we can now move forward and duplicate well so what we'll do is grab the top and bottom title animations that we just worked on with the mask and we'll duplicate them what we'll simply do is just hit vr and keyboard for position and we'll bring this down then we'll hit mr keyboard for the mask path and we'll bring down the mask path here to where we have another cut like so and then we'll go to that top duplicate and we'll bring that layer up to right there we'll grab the mask by hitting mr and keyboard to grab the mask one and we'll just go ahead and move that mask up to where we have a cut. And to keep things simple here, what we can do is we can grab all these layers here and offset them in time by a few frames. Then we can grab, say, the bottom and the top parts of this animation and offset it by a few more frames. So now we'll have this stacking animation like so. So now we can use these techniques to expand on on this title. So now with our title animation set up, this is what it looks like. And you can add as many duplicates as you want so we can get even thinner on this. But for tutorial six, I'll just end it here. And so since this is a very undestructive workflow, we go back to our title placeholder and we can change out our title or you can even drop in a logo if you want. You know, I'll decide about logo for fun and it'll automatically update with a full title animation. So another cool technique we can do is add a little bit of color to this. This is really easy to do. So we'll go back into our comp and we can grab, say, our main title placeholder, go to effect, generate, fill, and we can change to any color that we want. And then what we can do is grab, like, say, the first duplicate of the title here, go to effect, generate, fill again. And, you know, we can do like a light gray. Click OK. We can copy the fill effect, paste it to the first copy of the bottom there. And then we come here to like the next duplicate, change that color, and bring it down even more you can copy the fill paste it to that stack up there and then once again we'll go to the top one and make it even darker and this will allow us to have you know you know a nice little color palette so now we have a really nice stellar color palette and i think that is awesome another quick technique we could implement here if you want is you go back into your title placeholder and you can just copy the title real quick 
and you can swap the fill to be a stroke right here in the you know character window then you go back into your main composition and you can just paste in that original title uh, we can just turn off the title placeholder and boom there you have just a you know your stroke outline of your title and I think that's a really cool technique to show off uh, in this tutorial if you want to go for that look but the real question is how do we get this looping because we didn't use any expressions uh, and certainly we don't want to use keyframes because things get a little more complicated that way what we're going to do here is we're going to take all of our layers and we're simply going to pre-compose it and we can call it you know title stack or whatever you want to call it click ok and simply we're going to have our title out there for like a few you know few frames and then our title animation comes up what we're going to do is grab the out point and drag it all the way in. All right. And then we can simply just take this comp, duplicate it. We'll right click it, go to time, and we'll click on time reverse layer. We'll go ahead and drag this over and match the cut back up. So just like so. And what's going to happen is boom, boom, and they'll go back down. So then all you have to do is take these, duplicate them, move them up. Uh, patch up the cut there so now you have the ability to loop this for however long you need it to be so if you add more animations completely up to you and to conclude this tutorial I want to showcase our hundred title pack extension right here inside of After Effects so this is our title pack extension right here inside of After Effects where you can preview every title template before you apply what you're looking for so when you find a title you want you click on apply and with a click of a button you'll have a full title animation imported into your timeline which you can go into that composition and easily change out your titles and with a click of a button you can hide certain titles that you don't need and it won't affect the animation whatsoever it'll keep it exactly the same you can easily change the colors of your titles with a click of a button as well and you're able to change other parameters as needed and by using an accent motion graphics from our motion graphics starter pack you can take your work to the next level by a few clicks as well so if you want to take a look at our 100 title pack for After Effects and Premiere Pro, along with a handful of our other packs that we have off the website, I will link them below. If you do pick up anything, you will be supporting our channel, so thank you very much. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it insightful for creating this type of split typography technique, uh, which I see very often. So hopefully you'll be able to implement these techniques into your work. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. You can hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below. And always be creating.